Hello, Dr. Joanne again. Welcome to this audio, How to Connect with Love and Soothe Yourself. So hopefully you have already listened to the introduction audio that I did that kind of explains a little bit of the background and then also maybe listen to my story, my mission and my story to get some background information on me. So let's just dive in with a meditation on how to connect with love and soothe yourself because more and more it's so important you've got to fill yourself up with love. You've got to connect with love yourself. What we're taught to do is try to get this from other people, but your point of power is to connect in with this yourself first and foremost every day if you can. It gets easier. It takes some practice, but let's give it a whirl here. So I want you to just close your eyes so you're not driving, you're just sitting comfortably. Um, probably best to, to sit if you can. If you lay down, you might fall asleep. So just sitting comfortably and just taking a few deep breaths in and out. And just relaxing a little bit more with each out breath. Because really our only goal right here the the first time is just to relax a little bit more and as we practice we'll get better and better and just relax from head to toe so quickly just starting at the top relaxing your eyes relaxing your forehead relaxing your mouth and your jaw relaxing your neck and your shoulders just letting go of any of the tension that you've been holding on to Relax your arms and your hands. And I want you to relax your upper back, your mid back, your low back. Just think of, again, just setting down, setting aside all of the burdens that you've been carrying. Just relaxing your whole back. And then I want you to soften the front part of your body, knowing that, you know, when we're trying to connect in with love, honestly, over the years, we've become afraid of love. And I know that sounds backwards and how can that be? But it's true. When you actually start examining your thoughts, your beliefs, you will find that you're actually afraid of love. That's part of the fear that, that we have that and the fears we're going to go over in the the next audio but for now we're just going to soften the front part of your our body because it's like we've got an armor we're trying to protect ourselves so just softening softening the area of your chest and your heart softening your stomach just letting everything go and I want you to relax your hips your upper upper legs your thighs Relax your lower legs, your feet, and take a couple of more deep breaths in and out. Just relaxing a little bit more with each out breath. And we're going to just try to get out of our head for a little bit. So maybe just shift your awareness down to the area of your heart, to your chest, and just feeling into your body. And there's a lot of different ways to connect in with love. And it might just take a little practice if you haven't done this before. Sometimes you can start off by visualizing a happy place. Maybe a happy memory of a favorite vacation. Maybe you're playing music or listening to music. Maybe you're laying on the beach somewhere. Maybe you're in the mountains or near a lake. Maybe you're with your favorite people or your pets. It doesn't matter. But if you feel like going to a happy place first, do that. Because when you can just feel a little bit more relaxed, feel a little bit more happy, 
time starts to stand still, pain starts to leave your body. You just relax a little bit more. And if you're choosing to start with this happy place, maybe after a while, you can kind of start to associate your happy place with your higher power. I'm going to call it God. It's just the energy of love and whatever you want to call that. Whether you want to call that Christ or Buddha or Mother Earth or Source or higher power, even beloved grandma or beloved pet, whatever you're comfortable with, the word doesn't matter. It's just the energy of love. You want to associate the, the happy place with the energy of love. Or maybe you want to visualize a beautiful light, maybe a, even a flame around the area of your heart that's just slowly growing, getting bigger, feeling really warm and just beautiful. And allow that light to grow. Sometimes a, another thing that I like to do is I just feel like opening up the top of my head. And I just feel like this, this beautiful light is just coming into my head and just filling my whole body up just this white healing light that feels really good. So what we're doing here is we're just connecting in with love, with a healing energy, with happiness, however you get there, make it your own. Just relaxing a little bit more. And whatever you started doing, just go with it a little bit more. I want you to just visualize in whatever way makes the most sense for you. Visualize filling up your love tank, filling yourself up with love, connecting in with the universal energy of unconditional love. Remembering that if it's difficult at first, we're afraid of love. And just giving yourself a break and just smiling. Yeah, I'm probably afraid of love too. That's okay. But maybe if I could just try a little bit on for size. If you're trying to visualize like filling up a love tank, maybe just put in a gallon at a time. Just a little bit at a time and try it on for size. See how that feels. And if that feels safe, if that feels good, Try another gallon. But knowing that this is what we need to do. This was our missing link. We tried to get love from other people, but they were needing love too. And everybody's love tank was empty. Nobody taught us to fill our own love tank up first. So we're learning to do that. We're connecting in with love. We're filling up our love tank. We're soothing ourselves first and foremost. So filling up your love tank just as much as you can. Knowing it gets easier the more you do it. And trusting too that if you're really following along with me, you'll get extra help just with my energy as well too. Just trust that. And I want you to just fill yourself up as much as you can, as much as you feel safe in doing. Just trying a little bit more on for size. And just maybe visualizing this, this white light, just filling your body, nourishing the different places in your body that have needed a little extra loving, a little extra attention. And letting this white light expand, or whatever color you want, letting it expand out, 
outside of your body, into your, your energetic field. So you just feel like you're radiating with love. You've got a lot of love now to share with others. And just breathing into that. And now I want you to just visualize, we're just gonna go in our minds, we're gonna go on a little bit of a journey and go a little bit deeper. So we're gonna, we're gonna walk down a beautiful staircase, just a curving staircase, and we just glide down it easily. And then we go out, outside, into a beautiful garden. And whatever we want to imagine there, maybe there's a water feature, our favorite flowers, our favorite plants. Maybe there's our favorite, our favorite chair or hammock or just a, a beautiful, comfortable place to relax. And so in this beautiful garden, we're just going to sit down, lay down. Maybe our favorite pets are there or children, grandchildren. It really doesn't matter, but just a beautiful oasis for us to just sit and rest. And I want you to imagine that we all have guides angels, guides, our loved ones who have already passed on, they're still around. It's all energy. They're just not in human form. They're not in a body. But energetically, they are the ones helping us. We have helpers, but we just haven't been tuned into them. We didn't know any different. It's like they're on a different radio station and we've just been on a different radio station. So if you have loved ones that have passed on, all you need to do is connect in with love and you will start to build a relationship, a different type of communication that's all your own. It doesn't have to be the same way as mine. It doesn't have to be the same as someone else's. You have your own unique way of communicating with your guides, with your loved ones that have passed on. But just know that when we are done with our bodies, we are still very much around in energetic form. But to connect and communicate, we have to all connect into love first. That's the universal energy. That's the place where we're all connected. We're all one in that space. And so as you're sitting there, and hopefully it feels safe to just even imagine that you have guides, you have spirit helpers, you have angels, you have loved ones that love you so deeply. And I want you to just relax and breathe, breathe in quietly, just breathe in and listen, listen to your guides, listen to your angels give you a pep talk. And they're just whispering in your ear. You are so loved. You are so loved and adored, and you always have been. And just breathe it in. Let it come in. Knowing that we fight this stuff. We don't, we want, we don't want to let this stuff in. It's hard for us to receive this stuff. But just let it in. Breathe it in. Let the tears just flow. Just letting them whisper in your ear, you are so loved and adored. You are absolutely good enough. You always have been. You are so good enough. You're smart enough. You are strong enough. You are enough just as you are. You were made to be unique, with unique gifts and talents that are just your own and you need to let them shine. You've been hiding them, not wanting to upset other people, but now's the time to let your 
gifts and talents shine, knowing that you are enough and you do matter. You are so important and you are so worthy and deserving of everything good. Breathe that in. You are so worthy and deserving. You are so important. You matter so much. Just breathing that in. And in this space, you are safe. You are safe in this space while you're connected with love. And knowing the only time that you don't feel safe is when you've been listening to your ego and all the fear. And when you've been listening to the things that aren't true, that's when you don't feel safe. You don't feel quite right. But connect in with love and let yourself feel safe. Let yourself feel connected. Let yourself hear your guidance, the guidance that we've been trying to get through to you. And knowing that in this space, when you connect in with love and connect in with us, we can make everything work out for your benefit. We can make everything easy. Everything would be flowing. And in this space, you're never alone. We are always here. We are here helping you. You've been wanting help from maybe one particular person, but they've got their own things going on right now. They can't help you in the way that we can. Let us help or help you. We are here. You're not alone. And just breathe that in. And remember, you are so loved and adored. And I want you to just bask, bask in that feeling of just oh, feeling really good, feeling better. And now with your body still just resting and taking all of that in and healing, your guides are going to take you on a fun journey. And so I want you to imagine yourself in the non-physical form. You're just energy. You're just energy. So in your mind, you're just going to go have some fun. And so you're just going to go through an imaginary door with your guides, with your angels, with your loved one. It doesn't matter. But you're going to go to a place where there's no worry. There's no money. There's no physical ailments. There's no pain. There's no disease. All you feel here is complete trust, complete knowing. All of your needs are instantly taken care of here. You're surrounded by energy or of the people who love you. You're never alone or lonely. You are safe. And in this space, place, this non-physical place where you're just energy again, just in your mind, you can soar, you can fly, you can jump, you can leap, all without any limitations. There's no blame here. There's no judgment. There's no anger. There's no fear. There's only love here. There's nothing to ever worry about here. Only love and freedom are expressed here. So just let yourself soar, let yourself fly, let yourself in your mind go visit some place that you've wanted to go visit. Check in on other loved ones. Just fly around, soar around, do whatever it is that you want to do. Let the universe's abundance and joy fill you up. And just knowing that this is your true state, feeling only love, only freedom, just feeling a little bit happier. Let yourself go on a little bit of a fun journey with your new friends.
And when you're ready, I want you to come back through the door, through your imagination, come back to the garden, come back and reconnect with your body. And I want you to pick a couple of words or feelings to connect with even deeper as you start to awaken. Just what would you like to experience more of throughout your day? Maybe fun, maybe lightheartedness, maybe ease, maybe joy, maybe clarity, maybe satisfaction, maybe connection, all sorts of different words. But maybe when when you open your eyes in a little bit, maybe you want to play around with some of those words. Maybe you want to journal or write a few of them over and over again and kind of really get into it, get into that feeling. So as you reconnect with your body and just kind of move around a little bit and when you feel ready, just opening your eyes and just coming back into focus and just breathing deeply. And hopefully you're a little bit more relaxed. Hopefully you were able to connect in with love. And remember that this can take a little bit of practice, but it should become easier and easier to do this on your own. Listen to this as much as you need to and be sure to listen to the other videos as well too, the other audios. Our next one is gonna be clearing up and softening fears. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Peace and love to everyone. And I'll see you in my next audio.